Hey guys, so Lucas here. Now, I do apologise, there is going to be a, a fair bit of uh, vulgar language and swearing in this video, so if you're young and whatnot and you don't want to get in trouble with your parents, I suggest you turn this video off now before they start moaning at me because I've been swearing. And you have five seconds to do that before I start ranting. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's get started. So, Ark Survival Evolved. Right. Yes, it's a game preview and things aren't going to work and stuff like that. And if you actually go on the feed and stuff, there's a lot of people complaining. And they have the right to complain. Whether it's still a work in progress or not. Whether um, we only paid 20 quid for the game or not. If you've put hundreds of thousands of hours into a game... You have the right to complain when something goes wrong. Now, I played the hell out of Ark. I got at least over 20 odd people to buy Ark. So I basically got them a bunch of people into the game. Which is basically I got them more customers. I have the right to complain if something goes wrong. So, first of all, there was a point where what they did was they reset all the dinosaur stats on Ark. Right? They reset all the dinosaur stats on Ark. So, after pe uh, spending hundreds of hours and leveling my dinos up and putting the time and effort to get them the XP, the amount of killing they had to do, worrying about other players trying to kill me, not only the wild dinosaurs, but other players grouping up on me and killing my dino, and I'm putting work in, leveling my dino, putting in so much time, but hundreds of thousands of hours into the game. And they reset all the dino stats as if I had never leveled them because they wanted to fix the stats on the dinosaurs. Which they could have easily done. They could have easily done that without any issues by just changing the dinosaur stats allocation points. So I have 500 in melee damage for example. I put in 20 points and that got me an extra 200, right? But now they've changed it to so only get 5 per stat. They could have easily made it so that I only got um, less points determined by 20 times 5, which is 100. Right? So instead of getting 200, I got 100 stats in my melee damage. So let's just have that for an example. They could have done that, but they didn't. And that aggravated me and I stopped playing. Because I put hundreds of hours into that game. And that kind of screwed me over. So I stopped playing. And... My friend was bugging me the past week or so to get the game again, so I reinstall it. And I'm playing Ark on the s one on a new map, and I'm putting tons of work into it. And now they've deleted my world, my characters, told me to clear my local save data, which has deleted a load of data off games. They said apparently I would get my data back off the cloud. I didn't. So not only have I lost my ARC data, I have lost my game data for other video games. I have more than the right to complain. And there's tons of retarded people out there going, Why are people complaining about so much? They told you that this would happen when um, you basically paid to be able to play the beta and stuff like that. They told you that this kind of stuff would happen. Are you fucking retarded? Are you that? Stupid and dumbfounded that you have such a stupid IQ in why people are complaining. Telling us, oh, stop complaining and whinging about it. I'm sorry, but when you put hundreds of thousands of hours into something and it gets destroyed, you're going to be pissed. When it interferes with your other game data on other games, not only Ark, you're going to be pissed. Because you've put so much fucking effort into the fucking game. So we have a right to complain. So if you're being one of those dumb retarded people to go and telling everybody to stop complaining. And telling everybody to stop bitching. I have the fucking right to. Why you are asking why we're complaining when it's right there in front of your fucking face. is very clear as fucking day why we're complaining. So, when all these people are being dumb, stupid people, with no fucking brain, they need to stop and fucking 
swearing and having a go at people because they're complaining about how much we've just been screwed over. Just stop, bro. Because you just, you're just being a stupid, idiotic retard. You really are. And it's just kind of pissing me off. Because I see it so much. And people are complaining about the host barrier. And if you actually look through my videos, you will see I actually made a video on how they can fix this. So people are still telling people to this day to stop complaining about the host barrier. It's fucking annoying. You can't go anywhere if you want to play on your own server. Because you don't have like 20 odd friends you can play with. And form a tribe with. So you don't get raped by all the other people who are actually developed on a fucking server. You're going to play on your own server if you don't have a huge number of people. Because playing on your own, you're going to come across that one tribe that's a powerhouse on the server. It's got 30 odd fucking members. Who's going to be bored and decide, you know what, I'm going to be a cunt to destroy this person's base. So you have wasted your time. Right? That's to be expected. You know that's going to happen. But when your game data gets deleted after hundreds of thousands of hours and you lose your character and you're stuck in a character creation screen and all your hard work is gone. And that not only transcends but to other games where you've lost your data on other games. Because the stupid prompt on the screen when you started the art said, Oh you have to go into settings and clear your local save data and all your saves will be restored through the cloud. And you've lost all your fucking data for your other games. People are going to be pissed. The amount of time they've put in. The people who don't have the time to play their consoles and play Ark all the time. Because they have jobs and things that they have to do. So they can't put all the time in like other people. But the over accumulatively of how long they've been able to play the game. They have still put hundreds of hours in their spare time they've had off work, which isn't much because they're working from 9 till 5 or um, late at night or however long their fucking shift is. People have rights complain. So, can you blame people for being pissed off with ARK, whether it's game preview or not? Whether they've paid only $20 for the game or not? They've lost all their data that they paid 60 or whatever data... Uh, for whatever game they purchase for whatever special edition or whatnot, which can lead up to 80 to 100 to 200 dollars, depending on whatever the frick it is, depending where you are in the world. People have a right to complain, so stop being fricking retards, alright? Peace.